uh, we're here to talk about how you could improve team building in less than an hour. And I'm going to share my screen with you. So I have some slides. All right. So uh, I'm just going to share my screen with you. Okay. Now I hope you can share. I, I hope you can see my screen. Uh, if you can see my screen, uh, just say yes in the chat. All right. Okay. So you're able to see my screen. Now I'm just going to start the presentation. Okay. Now, great to have you all here. All right. So you can improve teamwork in less than an hour. That's what we're going to talk about. That's what we're going to talk about. And a little bit about me, I want to give you my background. So, you know, uh, that will help you understand uh, how I can be useful in helping you make your teamwork better. Now, uh, my journey started uh, as a trainer some years ago, but in the early years of my career, I used to work in information technology. Uh, I spent about a decade in information technology, more than a decade, in fact. And in 2008, I made a career shift. Uh, I went to London and I did my master's in human resource management. And from there on, I was more involved in human resources, HR and training because HR and training go in hand in hand. So from that time, I was uh, onwards. I worked in London for a short while and, you know, I worked at NDU. And after that, I've been, you know, uh, I'm, I'm uh, working as an entrepreneur, uh, you know, started my own company for the last about seven, eight years. So uh, that's my journey. And I'm a certified trainer. I got my certifications. I got total of five certifications. So everything is fine. Uh, you can hear me. Okay. Naman, everything is fine. You can see in the, there's no, nothing in the chat. Okay, fine. All right. So uh, before I, all right, great. Okay, great. All right. So uh, this is my old picture <laughs> about 15, 20 years ago. So at that time, I didn't have a clear direction and, you know, I, I was, uh, I was an IT basically. And then, you know, uh, then I decided to launch my company and launch my training career and, you know, things started happening for me. So this is my journey. I want, uh, just wanted to share this with you. Uh, so I, all right, I'm just trying to wait the next slide. Oh, what's happening? All right, so I got five certifications. I went to Bali. Um, that was about five years ago. I went to Bali. I got my certifications in the colored brain, uh, in team building, in work gamification, in people development. So I stayed in Bali for two weeks and with Arthur Karmazi, who's the founder of BCI. So you see the logo of BCI here. All right, so this is Directive Communication International, BCI, okay? And you also see the logo of American Institute of Business Psychology. So this is an accredited program uh, I did, and I got the certification, uh, you know, at uh, during my stay. So I'm also a channel partner, all right, official channel partner of the Colored Brain here in Pakistan. Okay, so anything uh, to do with directive communication, anything to do with team building, you know, I can help you out on that. And there's only one channel partner in one country, so. I'm looking after all of Pakistan and I represent Directive Communication International here in Pakistan. So it's like a collaboration between my company and Directive Communication. Now, uh, these are some pictures of Bali. So this is Arthur Karmazi with me, all right, on the right. And uh, then, you know, I, I did some speaking and training. I learned the art. And we had trainers from USA, uh, from India, from Dubai, from Romania and from all around the world and it was great to interact with those people and i had a great time on uh, it's an excellent uh, time i spent and i learned and polished my skills there all right so uh, this is my book all right so i'm an also an author this is my book first book Chinese entrepreneurship benchmark for pakistan all right and this is my second book business success all right so this uh, with a recent publication. It's available on Amazon. And if you want, I could give you a free copy, a PDF copy. All you need to do 
is send me a message in the chat all right send me a message in the chat that you want a copy of the book and i'll give you uh, a copy of this book all right so this book is about leadership motivation entrepreneurship and how you can be a better leader how you could lead your team how you could motivate your team and how you can influence the team to do uh, what you want all right and give them what they want and you get from them what you want so this is uh, the book and it has a chapter on goal setting as well entrepreneurship how to launch your company how to be an entrepreneur affirmations visualization all right and then you know uh, seven chapters in total so it's a good read if you want a copy just send me a message in the chat and uh, i'll follow up with you and i'll be send you a copy a pdf copy of the book okay. now i have also been featured on rose tv uh, rose ki market was the program i think which was held on every tuesday and i did more than 12 programs uh, during that uh, that time all right so uh, i used to do uh, analysis on economy and business so these are some pictures of those of that program now uh, who this is right for so if you are looking to improve teamwork all right uh, you're in the right place because we are going to give you in this uh, about next 50 odd minutes we are going to give you a formula which you could use to improve your teamwork all right and you could improve it so that you could have more productivity more sales more uh, more uh, enthusiasm in your teams all right more revenue for you and so much more <laughs> okay now this is can this can be used at any level so it can be used between two people so husband and wife or uh, can be used with friends can be used with three people five people 100 people 1000 people so uh, it could give you predictable way to scale your team <clears throat> right now my area of expertise is leadership team building and sales and closing sales now uh, this is an event i i did recently it was held at flatter five star hotel in uh, lahore and this is a big company stylo so stylo is employing thousands of people and they have hundreds of outlets all around pakistan all right all around pakistan and the ceo of pakistan uh, ceo of stylo uh, mr mazhar hussain uh, he called me for to conduct this training it was a two day event and you know it's a sales conference annual sales conference and i was part of this conference i was lucky to be there lucky to be there and we had all these wonderful people coming in from different areas of pakistan as a great event and i enjoyed it and you know i got they got a lot of benefit from it and some nice follow up so <clears throat> this is a recent event and <clears throat> there are some pictures of the same event <clears throat> all right at flatus oh, excuse me so This was on 15, uh, Kuala Lumpur. All right, so I went there. I was part of this Kuala Lumpur International Business Economics Law Conference, and I was a speaker there. And we had all these people from different places, from uh, from Thailand, from Malaysia, from Indonesia, from Iran, from Turkey. All right, from Myanmar, so all around the world, they came here for this conference, and I represented Pakistan. It was a great event, uh, very insightful, very knowledgeable for me. and some great time i spent so just sharing this with you now i did some i've done some uh, seminars uh, on entrepreneurship and this is ieee week at fast right ieee week at fast and i was part of that and i did my i did a seminar on entrepreneurship there okay and then i have been doing a lot of <coughs> a lot of work with the national defense university ndu right and there are pictures of that so <coughs> a number of events on different human resource and uh, leadership team building topics so i've been doing that <clears throat> now uh, i've also uh, you know been traveling to islamabad club and and gallup and a few other places in islamabad and i was lucky to meet dignitaries like mr abdul basit and you know i'm doing some speaking there as well and now by the end of this webinar i would like to give you my promise to you is i'd like to give you a step by step process so step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 all right you follow the structure and you get the results in your teams <clears throat> all right so are you with me with this so you follow the structure i'm going to give you those steps you can note down you can take out a piece of paper 
you can ask question from me i'll we'll have a question and answer session in the end as well so uh, you can ask questions and that way you know <clears throat> we could uh, help you optimize and maximize that your teams in less than an hour now if you stay till then all right there'll be a concession there'll be a bonus there'll be uh, something for you in the end so it's you know worth staying till then okay just to give you some incentive <laughs> to listen you can find me on social media so you can find me on linkedin on youtube on facebook on twitter on instagram um, and of course my website so naman is sharing the link in the chat all right and also uh, the youtube channel it has about uh, 80 plus videos all right so you just share the link in the chat the youtube uh, has more than oh uh, yeah so the youtube has more than 80 videos uh, uh, close to 80 in fact so there are leadership team building work gamification improving uh, improving sales on cv building so lots of useful topics i have we've been making videos and posting uh, on youtube and we have a lot of following so if you like to connect uh, there that will be good for you and you can get benefit from that now <clears throat> all right so problems in your teams what are i'm going to discuss the common problems in your teams and why they are occurring and how first of all we'll be discussing those problems all right and then we'll be discussing ways to solve those problems so if you uh, i'm i'm sure you uh, we work in teams and you've been a team leader and you know you you gather around your team and you talk to them and you motivate them okay you're going to do this and you're going to do this and this is how you're going to do it and these are the steps this is step number 1 step 2 3 4 and you know this is how you're going to do it and you know you tell them have you understood and they say yes yes you've understood you understood what you're saying and then you know you tell them okay now start working and what happens suddenly they start doing something totally different and you know oh you say oh my god oh what's happening you know <laughs> these people they don't understand what i'm trying to you know uh not trying to show them what i'm trying to do for them and you know this is all uh, a waste of time but why does this happen uh, we have to talk about this because uh why does such a uh, such such things happen and then you know that can be very demoralizing and derailing for for team work now uh, the first thing that could go wrong just like in the example i was saying because that communication will break down you're saying something else and the person will understand you know uh, totally totally something else so there will be no correlation so the first step that your team is going uh, off of the road of the track is that communication will break down there will be a total breakdown of communication all the communication will be very very limited or less all right and that's the sure sign sure fire sign that that team building is ruined now the second thing that happens you know is once there's lack of communication there will be lack of trust so there will be no trust and you know things will start deteriorating and trust will break down and once you have less trust then even small things will be very difficult for you to achieve even small things will be very difficult for you to achieve and once you have more trust you have more understanding then you can achieve faster results in your team you can have better morale you know you can do much better in your team just because you have built a trust with your team members okay so if you have questions you can uh, send them in the in the chat if you want okay now uh, conflicts in team now this is a slide and it's showing some conflict so once you have a lack of communication once you have a lack of trust then of course that will lead to conflict and conflict as shown on the slide all right is like this person this lady is trying to hit the person on the head and you know uh, she is she is mad about something <laughs> I don't know what happened with these two people but you know is this showing some conflict and they probably working in some team or you know something and this lady is trying to hit the person and uh, the other person is trying to make a point to that to that lady so this some conflict going on in this light and if you look below uh, so we have a wrestling match so two people on the left and two on the right and 
these people on the left are trying to pull them that we are right you are wrong you know you are wrong and we are right they are trying to wrestle that initiative and the other on the person on the right are trying to wrestle their initiative so it's like a tug of war so if, if only they they could work together if they could only move in one direction if they could really work out okay let's do this first and then let's do this so they probably do much better so this is a conflict occurring in teams and how we could avoid such a conflict i mean we'll talk about that now we talked about the problem areas and now i'm going to talk about the solution uh, which you could use uh, which i talked about the step by step way that you could use all right to optimize and you know make your team work better now colored brain psychology uh, because i i want to tell you a little bit about colored brain psychology and this is the key to learning and doing better all right in your team work so as you realize everybody is different in the world and their brain operates in a different way so the brain takes a decision or it does an action after it gets clarity all right so after you get clarity in your brain you take an action or you do a meaningful thing uh, or you know you make a decision something that affects your life so till the time the brain is not clear it will not be able to make a decision so and the process for getting clarity is called the ambiguity relief process the ambiguity relief process the ambiguity relief process you can google it there is a lot of research on it and what the colored brain does is it measures the ambiguity relief process so this is the only uh, only way that you could determine the ambiguity relief process and this can be very useful in everything you do in your life and we'll talk about that in the realm of team building now uh, the ambiguity relief process uh, is different for different people and you know we've classified according to research they have been classified into four types of you know ways that you get clarity in your brain now the first is red brain linear processing so everything is like in a linear fashion all right so you do this and then this and this and this so this is a linear way that you do things all right and then it's a structured way of doing things green brain is a chaotic way so a uh, lot of chaos is going on by the way a lot of people where we are in pakistan in south asia are green brain they are green brain so uh they'll be working on this they'll be working on this so a lot of chaos is going on and that's how they work they get clarity through doing and you know doing something not by thinking about it not by visualizing rather by doing it so the the blue brain people are intuitive in nature they have a very strong sixth sense very strong sixth sense and they can feel things going on here and there and they feel things going on and that's how they absorb things from the environment so they are conscious of the environment they are conscious of things going around around them now the purple brain people all right the purple brain people are relational processing they will relate everything to everything else now they will relate this thing to this thing and this thing to this thing and they will start relating everything to everything else i'll be talking more about this in the in the, the subsequent slide but this is a this is a diagram and this is showing you how the ambiguity relief how the clarity getting process occurs in your brain all right so you have uh, abstract intensity speed of processing and a connectivity of information so these are three parts of the ambiguity relief process okay now these three parts uh, how they are important and how it, how they affect you now let me talk to you a little bit about that the ambiguity relief process happens at different at three different parts of your brain as shown in the in the slide and the first is abstract intensity so do you get uh, clarity in an abstract way or a concrete way do you get uh, you know clarity in an abstract way or a concrete so do you have abstract uh, do you need abstract knowledge or some concrete finding some concrete facts like a red brain person who do need some concrete facts and they could decide on that basis now the second part is the speed of processing now uh, just like uh, a car is going on on the motorway like 120 plus you know and so at that speed you can't remember all the flowers and all the beautiful places that are around you so you're going so fast so once you're going very fast you won't be able to remember the details but if you're going slowly if you're just taking a walk if you're just enjoying yourself so you look around you remember the flowers you remember the trees 
remember all the beautiful area around you and you know uh, that way you could help uh, you know uh, relate or analyze and make sense of that information so speed of processing is also a factor in getting amenity release and the third part is connecting information so how do you connect information connectivity how it is how it is connected and how you could connect that information and get some meaningful clarity so that could help you in taking decisions and also help you in taking some meaningful action so this is the ambiguity relief process so any questions on this uh, you're welcome to ask in the chat and i'll be and giving you uh, a, a, a comprehensive uh, 10 minute for the question and answers now <clears throat> i'll talk about ketin processing and this is the green brain person and there's a lots there's lots of things going on in the the brain of this person so uh, just like you know see he he has rhombuses and triangles and circles and you know dotted lines and you know pentagons and a letters and ideas you know in the form of light bulbs so they they work in a chaotic fashion so they will be doing this and this and this and green brain people let's see what happens in the action processor of these people and they make a lot of mistakes but then they recover very very quickly they'll do a mistake and they'll recover they'll start doing something else so they uh unlike other brain colors they they make mistakes but then they recover from mistakes much much faster than others now the action processor uh in their brain is they get some information and immediately they'll start taking action so they'll not wait like other brain colors you know they'll take some action and then after they've done some oh they realize oh my god where are where are we and then they then they do some analysis and they'll get some more information then they start taking so it's like a chaotic process like the chaos is going on in their brain now the second type of brain uh, color is the red brain all right so in this in this color we have like a rational uh, like a linear a linear sort of uh, processing so it's like more of decision making it's like a flow chart you know so you make the computer program you have this computer program and you used to do analysis of that so it's like that analysis you do so this leads to this this leads to this just like in the diagram you have the arrows so you do do this step and do the next step and the next step and the next step and you can get this result so i'm red brain and you know uh, i'm more structured uh, so red brain red brains are structured and more logical right socrates was also a red brain person all right and by the way bill gates uh, famous microsoft chairman of microsoft right he is uh, also red brain so he's creating these structures all around he made see mama the ceo and nana satya and now he's making these structures for polio and for microsoft all around the world so you do this you do this so he's creating structures so structured uh, persons they they get information this is how they get clarity they get information 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 and then do some analysis 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 and then they take actions 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 and you know that's how it's a logical flow of information so if you don't have enough information to get brain people uh, they will not get clarity and you might lose the sale you might not be uh, successful in team building if you don't give information so if you're working with red brain people if they ask you questions you have to give them an answer you have to give them structure so that you can benefit from that all right now intuitive processing now uh, my favorite by the way uh, and these people uh, they have a very strong sixth sense and they are able to have an intuitive sixth sense and what goes on uh, in their brain and these by the way these people are very good at multitasking they'll do uh, this stuff and this stuff and this stuff so they'll multitask all of those things and they'll do some analysis some information analysis information analysis and you know information and some action as well so it's a balance of all uh, all three things and that's how they operate they would uh, be you know more concerned about the environment what's going around here and there and they will adapt accordingly now relational processing purple brain people now relational processing purple brain people uh, they would they are detailed oriented people now they would relate everything to everything else now they'll make a structure connect this thing to this thing this thing to this thing this thing to this thing they would connect everything around them i mean everything and connecting so much information that takes a long time so as you can guess the information processor in their brain the action processor in their brain you know it 
it, it needs a lot of information. So information, 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 information. And that takes a long time. So in in the past, I've, I had an IT company and, you know, I had a friend I used to work with in the United States. And he was a purple brand, a classic purple brand. And I would give him information and I say, okay, uh, are you satisfied? Um, are you satisfied? And then he would come back to me after a few days and say, no, no, I need more information. And I give him more information. And then uh, after a day or two, he would come back. Uh, yeah, could you give me this information? And I would give that information. And, you know, that way, <laughs> oh, that really frustrated me because I was an action taker. I was a uh, more of a structured person. And I would, you know, I wanted results. And he would just, you know, he was more of a research and development type of guy. And he would uh, just, you know, need suck me. And I would just be, feel so tired after working with him. So uh, that frustrated me. So this thing can happen. And the same thing happened with Steve Jobs. By the way, Steve Jobs was purple brand. All right. And uh, because he had a difficult time in delegating, such people have difficult time in delegating and they try and do everything themselves. All right. They try and do it's not a good idea, but then that's how they operate. And they're very good at research and development. So they can give you all the answers because they've connected everything around them. And very quickly, they connect everything around them. And, you know, uh, that's how they get clarity. So it takes a long time for them to get clarity. But once they get some clarity, okay, then, you know, uh, it's really easy for them to decide. Now, all this is meant to give you greater understanding or a greater understanding uh, of of how your brain works and how your teams work and how you could get to the next level in team building. And as, as I promised you, you could improve your teamwork in less than an hour. And let me just talk about that, how you could do that now. Now, before we move on to the, we have a cultural case study. And now this was a team culture uh, um, thing, you know, initiative uh, done at Emirates, you know, uh, using the DC uh, content. And uh, this in this case study, uh, we had some findings and i like to discuss with you, which are very relevant to what we're talking about. So uh, the CEO of uh, Emirates was John Faswa. So he was, as you guessed, and, and after seeing this slide, he was red brain. So red brain, linear processing. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, and get the result. So structure, structure, you know, analysis, structure, information. So very structured way. And her, his secretary, who was green brain. So they, before doing the color brain test, they always, you know, used to have get into problems, and there was a lot of misunderstanding because the secretary was very intelligent. And the CEO was also a very, uh, you know, uh, a very intelligent person. But both of them would get into a lot of trouble, you know, over small things. So you'd call the secretary and tell her, okay, uh, 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 Christina, could you please prepare this report for me and make this structure and do this and do include this and include this and include this. And that's how uh, the secretary would go back to her uh, to her room and she would prepare this report, you know, uh, just like green, green brands are quick, you know, report and quick, you know, analysis and all that and they just give her and uh, once she went uh, okay boss I've, I've uh, spent some time and I've made the report and uh, he would say oh my god what have you done so <laughs> uh, and she was so uh, she so demoralized because you know she realized oh my god this uh, I worked so hard for this report and I've tried to put everything I could and this guy is not satisfied and he said where is the structure you know he's a lack structure but then uh, once the uh, the team building initiative took place in Emirates and we told uh, John Fosfo and Christina that, you know, that's how your brain operates and that's why, that's how the CEO wants things done and that's how uh, the secretary, you know, Christina is working and how they could both uh, relate to each other. And uh, and and John Fosfo was very happy, and this team was the best team working in Emirates. So that was uh, a clear manifestation of the colored brain. Uh, 